Hi there, this is English, and today we're going to learn English. Uh, I'm Anna Kondrabura, I'm the founder of A Language School English for IT, and I'm going today to teach you three phrases that are going to make you sound like a true native speaker. So let's go. Phrase number one that native speakers typically use all the time is I'm afraid. I'm afraid is the phrase that you want to use if you are talking about bad news or if you want to say no. If you don't say I'm afraid at the very beginning of your speech, you may come across a little bit rude. Uh, so be careful about that. Anyways, how would you use I'm afraid? For example, you can't come to meet me and you want to apologize and you want to say that you can't come to meet me, so you're going to say, I'm afraid I can't come to meet you. Instead of saying, I can't come, when you say, I'm afraid I can't come, it makes your speech more polite and it makes you sound more like a native speaker. Let's take a look at other examples where you can say, I'm afraid at the beginning of your sentence when reporting bad news, sad news, or when saying no. Let's say you're in the store and you're asking for a discount. So a shop assistant is going to say, I'm afraid we don't offer a discount anymore. Let's imagine that you are about to schedule a meeting with a client or with a partner and they suggest that you meet at six and you say, I'm afraid I can't make it at six. I have another meeting. So that's how you would use it. Person I personally use the phrase I'm afraid all the time. And this is why when I talk to native speakers, they could never tell I don't live in the States. Phrase number two, make sure. Make sure is very useful for business English. When you use English for work and when you want to give instructions or recommendations and make sure sounds much better um, instead of uh, you need to or you have to. So make sure instead of these phrases is going to sound more, I would say polite, right? Less demanding maybe, um, less pointing fingers like so let's take a look how we use make sure in context let's say you are going to a corporate party and uh, your manager is telling you make sure to wear smart suit to this party let's say there is like a dress code party right so instead of saying you must wear a suit they can tell you make sure to wear a smart suit to the party like i said make sure is going to sound more friendly than you must you should or you need to, or you have to. Another situation, uh, you know, I am teaching uh, different courses where I teach tech people and business people English. And my next course is to start beginning of May. So make sure to register on time because there is a deadline. There is a registration deadline. So my um, advice, my recommendation to you, make sure to register before the deadline. So that's how you use make sure in context. Now let's move to expression to phrase number three. Th number three is I would appreciate. I would appreciate is actually my favorite when it, when it comes to making requests. Yeah. Making polite requests. For example, I can, uh, when I want to ask people to do something for me, uh, instead of saying, please do it. Cause sometimes, you know, guys, sometimes please is not enough. And uh, don't think that if you say please in English, you are being polite, you know? Uh, in English, you may want to use other phrases to sound more polite, to sound, I would say, more business-like. So I would appreciate as one of those phrases that is going to help you sound uh, always in line with the business etiquette and always in line with politeness. So, like, so let's go back to my example. Let's say I want you to do something for me. And instead of saying, please do it for me, I'm going to say, I would appreciate if you did this for me, right? Uh, I would appreciate if you brought your laptop to the lesson. I would appreciate if you, um, I don't know, even if this is like, I want to make some negative comment, I can also say I would appreciate and it's not going to sound as, um, I don't know, demanding or mandatory. For example, I can say, I would appreciate, um, 
I would appreciate it if you didn't speak so loud in class. Let's say you forgot that there are other people and you are speaking loud. So those are the phrases. Let me recap a little bit. I'm afraid you're going to use when you talk about negative news and when you want to say no to somebody. Make sure you're going to use instead of uh, you should, you have to, you must um, at work when you want to give some recommendation or advice. And also I would appreciate it. You would use again when asking people to do something for you in a polite form. Hopefully you can use those phrases and I'm pretty sure your English is gonna be like native speakers one. Next time you speak English, make sure you use at least one of the phrases I taught you today. But if you want to learn more of the phrases like I taught you today, please follow me on Instagram. And also don't forget to subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel so that you are the first to receive the new video from me. I'm also on Instagram, so find me as English underscore and you will get a portion of English every day from me absolutely free. Take care, you guys.